Hi there, it's Miles from Light Harvest Solar. I just did another video about uh, the ratio of solar panels to batteries. This is the person that needs it every day, high on the panel and low on the battery. This is the person that has a month to recharge because they live in a cabin they only go to once a, once a month, low on the panel, high on the battery. Uh, but I did want to say that that's for a cabin, you know. That's for something you're in every day, something uh, you're living in. If you've got an RV, it's pretty tough to get 1,000 watts up there. A really good one with an open roof can get 900. Sometimes you can get 12, uh, four panels, which could be up around 1,200. But that's way on the high side. A lot of folks can only get one or two panels, which means um, I use only the 60-cell panels that are industrial grade. And uh, they tend to run, the best ones tend to run right now in the 310 watt range. Um, so if you want to size for an RV, it's pretty easy. You fit what you can on the roof. You, you work within people's budget, fit what you can on the roof. A, a really super nice kit right now is a 300, 310 watt kit panel with... Um, a, I usually go one or two uh, lithium batteries. The reason to go two is that if you can go two, you can break up in the 2,000, 2,500 watt discharge range, which is a really big deal. That means hot plates, coffee pots, microwave, toaster oven, big tools, um, small hot water heaters of uh, all kinds of things. You can, you know, with, with if you jump from one battery to two batteries, your ability to obsolete propane becomes really quite, quite good, especially if you can tie into your alternator or you have a big system. This is not particularly a big system, but I would say 200 amp hour batteries. So, you know, let's just say a range for that would be maybe 100, I would say 100 to um, 200 of lithium okay uh if you want to and that that's that's a pretty good ratio you can go all the way up and down the board in panels when you're sizing panels for customers if they're on an rv i tend to go with their roof space and their budget here same deal uh big jump at two batteries go with their budget three is nice too if you go if you go much above 300 amp hours or you know even much above 200 amp hours here you might start to reallocate that budget towards your panels and get get more panels but um it's always a matter of allocating the budget to the best place uh but i would say that in general somewhere around 300 watts to four to you know to maybe like 400 watts would would, would be anything in, uh, in those ranges would be plenty appropriate for a uh, an RV system. Uh, the more the merrier here, the more the merrier here. Um, but if you do jump up in the, to the two, um, two batteries, uh, you end up with a ability to do an awful lot of stuff. Vacuum cleaners, um, all kinds of big stuff uh, that you can't with this. You can do about 1200 with one, I'm sorry, with one of those batteries. But you can see, depending on how you're, where you're at, there's a wide range of, of, of what is appropriate for two, you know, 200 amp hours of, of batteries. And, and like I said, the magic number at the moment because of the discharge rate on these things is two batteries, 200 amps discharge rate continuous, 2,500 watts, give or take. So um, that's where, uh, that, that's sort of the sweet spot right now. Um, again, you could get, if there's roof space, the more the merrier. I would go up to 610 and still have two batteries. I would go up to nine and I would have three batteries single panel single 310 watt panel with one battery is not you know it's what a lot of people can afford and it's still a way 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 better system than a couple six volts or something like that um so anyway that is how i size or those are the ratios i generally use depending on the situation for lithium batteries to solar panel wattage thank you very much let solar